Welcome. This is the uh, in Tennessee end of course algebra 2 practice test question number 47. The question says the graph of the equation y equals log of 2x plus 3 is translated right 3 units and down 3.5 units. The idea is I'm trying to take my original graph here if I can get my pen to work that'd be great and I'm going to translate it to the right 3 units and then I'm going to translate it down 3.5 units. The reality is the x is kind of locked in because it's connected to the log. Now the y is not like that so right now when I'm starting out my y value is at the zero point so I can say that my y is going to be zero. If I'm going to go down 3.5 shockingly I'm going to subtract 3.5 so this is going to get me down to this level that I want. Since the y isn't sort of controlled by the log here I can just make general movements and it follows everything in order so I'm going to look at anything that has minus 3.5 as a possible answer and I'm going to toss out anybody that doesn't match that criteria. So this plus 3.5 garbage, that's out. That'd be going up here, silly. Up and down aren't the same. So you can get rid of them because it's not held in check by the log. Y is all by itself. Now I have to think what translate things, uh, what translate things to the right. So I need to look at the possible graphs that I have available, and I'm going to do that in the, in the calculator. What I'm looking for specifically with the x's is you can see that when my y is 0 on the start of this graph, my x is negative 1. On the graph that I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is an x value of 2, because that's where it starts out. That's the joy that I'm trying to find in my life as far as this is concerned, a 2. So let me pop up the old calculator here. And I've already typed things in because, you know, you want to sit here and watch me click buttons? I don't think so. So my only possible things could be 2x plus 9 and 2x minus 3. I'm not going to type in that minus 3.5 thing unless I want to make a visual point about the graph. In fact, I can do it and make a visual point about the graph, and it makes your life much easier. But when I'm going to compare zeros in a second, I'm going to get rid of it. So you'll see me graph it twice. Sorry. So this one's minus 3.5, and this one is as well. I learned my lesson. I've already done this problem once, and I totally messed it up trying to find the zeros by adding this 3.5, but visually it makes a nice story anyway. So I'm going to graph this one out, make sure it's all in there like I want it to be. Everything seems fine. So there's the first one. Looks pretty much like it's supposed to. There's the second one, and there's the third one. And you can see this one looks a heck of a lot more like this than this one does. This one's all the way over here. So B is probably not the right answer. In order to make a better inspection, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to delete a couple things. I'm going to take it back to where it all started there. I'm also going to get rid of this extra parentheses. I don't even know why that's there. For fun, I guess. Who knows? Get rid of minus 3.5. I'm just going to look at the part that's controlled by the log, which would be the x. So I'm going to graph these again. And it won't have that same obviousness of what the graph looks like, but you can see at least where they start. The third one that popped out, which would be d in this case, is all the way over here. To make sure I'm going to actually look at the table. So hit second graph, go into the table. And what I'm looking for is zeros. My y sub 1, which is my original question, should have a 0 at negative 1. And it certainly does. So that's a good thing. My second one, I'm going to look to see if I can find a 0 there. So I'm going to go up a little bit. I forgot you can only go up with the x's. What I'm looking for is y sub 2 to give me 0. It says it's at negative 4. That would mean that the graph would start back over here. It doesn't. The graph starts at 2, so it's not that one. In the last one, I'm going to look for what I suggest to be x of 2, because that's where it starts. I'm going to go down an x of 2. If I get a 0 for y sub 3, which would be the third graph, I'm in good shape. And da da da, I got it. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. It matches up exactly. B's all kinds of wrong because it doesn't look like it's supposed to. And when I look for zeros, once I take that 3.5 stuff away, it doesn't give me what I'm looking for. Uh, so D is my correct answer based on the visual inspection, looking at the table of values, and the fact that I understand that Y shift up and down without having to do anything weird. So good luck.